Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be talking about new bags from such brands as Chanel, Hermes and Dior. While not all of them are completely new, some have been around for quite some time, but I have been asked so many questions about them. They are pretty popular and I thought I would record one video where I would consolidate all my responses and share with you. I hope that you will like it and will find it interesting. Please consider subscribing to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. By the way guys, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. And please follow me on my Instagram account, which is the same as my YouTube account, black and gold style. I will start with my favorite brand Chanel. And the bag that I will discuss first is Chanel 22. It is named Chanel 22 because it was launched in 2022. It comes in different sizes, small, regular or medium and large. It's a gorgeous bag, it can definitely fit in so many things. It's perfect for a daily use. I love it. My favorite combination is in cream and gold color. The only thing is it's a seasonal design and you have to keep in mind that it might be discontinued so it might be quite hard to recover your money if you decide to sell it it's just one thing i would keep in mind otherwise i love the bag it's a stunning design another bag that is so popular is chanel kelly Actually, the official name of this bag is Nano Shopping Bag, but so many people on social media call it Chanel Kelly. I have to say, from the recent Chanel launches, I prefer this bag to many others. It is so beautiful and so elegant. I just love the design. It's stunning and I actually see it everywhere and when it came out I fell in love with it and I know lots of people criticized it but I actually loved it from the first sight. Chanel used to have a very similar design that was created by Carl. That version was also so adorable. This bag is so popular and pretty hard to get and actually I see a lot of people that are typically Hermes lovers adding this bag which is quite interesting. I feel like if I didn't have a lot of bags in my collection I would consider adding it for sure. However, in my view this bag has one disadvantage. I actually find the strap of the bag quite long for me even though I'm 5.7. I just don't like it that low. I would probably hand hold it, just like how I do with my top handle bags. The next bag I wanted to discuss is Chanel top handle bag. Actually, the full name is bag with top handle. It comes in leather and tweed and the leather colors are absolutely stunning. I love them. Some tweed bags are quite cute as well, but I find it very hard to maintain them and keep them looking like new. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I definitely prefer the older shape. I like a bit more structured pieces. I don't think I would consider adding this one to my collection, that's for sure. Don't get me wrong, the bag is not bad. It's just my personal preference. I prefer a more structured design. Okay, moving on to Hermes. The first bag I wanted to discuss is Hermes cargo bag. It's a very cute and edgy design. I like it. It's pretty cool. It's so special and you can fit in more things there. It's quite functional. However, I don't feel like it suits my style. I prefer classic Birkin bags. I have some bags on my wish list and maybe I'll record a video in the future and share which I'm considering adding eventually to my wardrobe. Moving on to the next Hermes bag on the list, Hermes Mini. Hermes Birkin Mini is so cute and so adorable. I actually have not seen them for sale. I'm not sure if they are available. I just saw it on one person in the store and I fell in love with it. I would be curious to see how many items it can hold. I presume not that many. Actually, Hermes Birkin 25 is not that big as many people assume, unless you see it in real life and compare. Actually, Hermes Birkin 25 is not a big size. 
It's actually quite tiny, but it can still fit a lot. I would be curious to see the Birkin 20. I'm pretty sure the cost of this bag on the resale market is going to be so high. It's going to be very, very popular because it's so adorable. I decided to include this bag. This bag is becoming quite popular and many people keep saying that it's a new Birkin because the resale value on the pre-loved market is higher than retail. Well, I have to say the design is quite cute, I like it, but I feel like it will never become as popular as Hermes Birkin. It might be a nice alternative, but it's not the same, at least not for me. It's a very well-made bag, I love the quality, and the colors are quite beautiful and timeless. I feel like it can fit a lot, it's a pretty functional bag, but I'm not sure that this bag is for me. I would rather go for Hermes Birkin because I prefer that design. If I want Birkin, I would rather get Birkin, but it's a nice alternative if you just want to have something different. As for the resale value, I'm not sure if the price will continue to be above the retail. Maybe it will drop because once the hype goes away, Actually, the price would go down as well. Moving on to Hermes shoulder bag. I have to say I was a bit more skeptical about this bag when I saw it for the first time. I was not in love with it. But I feel like this design starts growing on me slowly. It's pretty cute and in general I love shoulder bags. Maybe eventually I will add it to my wish list. All the pictures of the older bags look quite stretched, so I would say that they have to be worn with the bag insert to maintain the shape. And moving on to Dior bags. Dior Toujours bag. I believe it was launched in 2023. It's a gorgeous design. I saw it in off-white and it's so pretty and it can fit so many things. I definitely like it, it's stunning and I feel like it's a great addition to the collection. Two of my friends have purchased this bag and I just love the way they style it. It's a gorgeous bag and I feel like it can fit in so many things. But if I had to choose between this bag and Lady Dior, I have to say I would go for Lady Dior. I just prefer classic styles that retain value a bit better. I know that even Lady Dior can lose its value, but I feel like at least this bag is more popular and there will be more demand for it in the future. I personally would not buy this new style, but I definitely like it on other people. It's really gorgeous. And the next step is Dior Saddle Shoulder Pouch. It's a similar style to the saddle bag, it's gorgeous and I feel like it's actually a lot more functional. It can fit in more things and it's easier to get inside of the bag. I have to say when I saw this style for the first time, I was not a fan of it. It's very different style from what I typically wear. I slowly start warming up to this style. It's gorgeous and quite interesting and edgy. I hope that Dior will not discontinue this design in the future. I hope that they will make it classic. And if they will, I might consider to add it to my collection. Next up is Lady Desire. I'm not sure how I feel about this design. It's not bad, it's quite cute, but I'm not sure that it's for me. I certainly prefer it in a larger size. The smaller one looks a bit strange. I feel like it's not easy to get into the bag and it doesn't seem like it can fit in a lot of things. And I don't feel like this design will be made classic. I feel like the resale value of this design is gonna go down. Dior always launches new styles and new designs and I feel like they become outdated so fast. 
and also the resale value for them goes down I feel like in this economy I want to spend my money on something that is timeless and classic and that I can wear anytime I also don't like when people know that this bag is let's say from 2024 or 2022 and in the future if the popularity of this bag will go down I know that I will not feel comfortable wearing it because it's dated and everybody knows when I bought it that's why I prefer to spend my money on classic items that can be worn anytime they will be forever in demand and forever popular I am not someone who likes to rotate my bags and I really dislike selling items it's so stressful and so energy draining and I just can't see myself getting something wearing for a short time and then selling it losing money on it it just doesn't make sense for me I would rather stick to a classic style that I can wear let's say in 10 years in 20 years it will be forever popular anyways guys this is it please let me know what popular designs are you currently considering or which bags would you like me to review in the future I'm curious to see what you're going to say thank you for watching I hope that you liked this video and found it interesting please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below do subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and follow me on my Instagram account which is the same as my YouTube account black and gold style have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!